Hello everyone and welcome back to another mod pack tutorial. This mod pack tutorial is basically on how to add resource packs or texture packs to CurseForge mod packs because people have some difficulties with, you know, adding, you know, new texture packs and all that stuff. And people sometimes wonder, do we have to stay with that texture pack? Because for example, this mod pack, uh, Medieval Minecraft, people don't like the texture pack of Medieval Minecraft. So people were wondering if we had to stay with this texture pack, because this texture pack to some people look very bad. This tutorial is to help with, you know, figuring out how to add another texture pack to this. So make sure to subscribe if this works for you, of course. And let's get right into this. Okay, so first off, as we're in here, um, let's go over to the three dots here. And well, I actually already did it, so you don't see it here. But in profile options, allow for content management. This is important because if you want to use the Curse Forge, I guess, repository of, uh, you know, mods or resource packs, we could obviously go to, you know, here and add more content directly. Now, bear in mind, I am doing this tutorial on the assumption that you know how to install mod packs for Curse Forge. And obviously, if you don't know how to install mod packs for Curse Forge, you go and download the Curse Forge launcher and then you go over here to Minecraft and then you browse for mod packs, whichever mod packs you want to look for. In this case, we have Medieval MC here. So add more content, resource packs, and you can go through the list of resource packs here. Okay, let's go with this one. Alacrity. I've heard good things about it, so let's use this pack instead. The problem with allowing for content management is that it removes the feature of updating your mod pack if it's a mod pack that gets updated by the content creator. In this case, it's Sharky. So if you want to add a resource pack without having to remove the option to update the mod pack, the way to do this is to go to the three dots, go to open folder, and it would open up the folder where all the Minecraft files are. And then you have to download a resource pack online and then put it here. In this case, I put in a lock already, but in the case that you had it in your downloads folder, you would put it out of the downloads folder and put it into here. And that is it. And this will not affect the update process at all. The reason why I showed the other method was because if you wanted to do the other method, you could also add in mods and all that stuff if you want your own custom medieval Minecraft pack or the option available that you could, you know, look at the repository of Bruce's packs and all that stuff. Either way works. It's just that if you want the ability to keep on updating the mod pack from whenever the mod pack creator decides to update the mod pack, then obviously do it this way where you open up the folder and put it in there directly. All right, so back in our world here. So the resource packs, uh, Alacrity, put it on top. Uh, this is actually made for 1.18, but they don't care. Okay, take off Excalibur. And we are back. Wow, look at this. This, this is amazing. I just love the way this pack looks in comparison to the other one. In general, this just feels a lot better than the pack that we had previously. And look at the foliage. The foliage is just amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you can, make sure to subscribe and like the video, of course. And overall, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.